Hey guys, Ethan Bill here, hope you a fantastic day. Now in this video, I'm going to explain to you what flex blads are. Any questions, comment section, appreciate the subscribe button, let's get straight to it. So, what actually are flex blads? So, it's a new feature that's been released, and um, as we're calling this video, it's only just been released. Um, but it's a new feature that's basically been released, and just allows you to test ads more effectively. It's more where Facebook are moving more into their direction of where their platform's more creative-based, more than media buyer based so making it easier for people, whoever, small businesses, whatever, to run ads via their platform, so it might make money, etc. But Flexible Ads, all it basically does, it allows Facebook to test your ad better in different formats, and different placements on the platform. It's very, very similar to Dynamic Creatives, and um, it's a little toggle used on the ad set level, so it allows you to test many different variations of creatives, uh, text, headline, etc. in description. And um, this, in my opinion, is going to replace that in the next six to 12 months, where Flexible is going to be the new Dynamic Creative Ads, and that's basically it. Um, the main pros of this is just allow you to test more ads, and it gives more control to Facebook rather than humans, uh, where Facebook obviously know things better than we do. And I mean, that's basically it. And from my experience, I've had uh, pretty, I've had a lot of bad experiences with it, but personally, I've had pretty good experiences in terms of front end metrics. I've seen my outbound CGR of ads that I'm running improve by about two to two point five x. It might be because this is just rolled out, and um, as you can see, it's just rolled out, so I've not had it, you know, set up on this ad account. And um, so we've had our outbound CTRs literally go from like one point five to two percent to about three point five to four percent. So we've seen our outbound CTRs justly increase, and our cost per outbound click probably drop by about 40 percent. But that's it. We haven't really seen um, any like tax decrease like maybe slightly but nothing back end but again this is new so you know that might potentially not happen yet after it's used a bit more as more data and it's you know fresh out and like i said out of recording this this has only just come out i uh, believe it came out about last night and um, this is the day after recording it so yeah that's just my experience and um, feel free in the comment section to drop your experiences and um, on Twitter, I've seen a lot of people talk about having bad experiences. Um, but in my opinion, this is just basically going to be the new uh, dynamic creatives. Uh, that's going to disappear in the next six, 12 months. And it's just going to help you, uh, well, help Facebook move towards their creative based platform. And it's allowed to test more um, and leverage Facebook's algorithmic data better. But that's everything. And um, like I said, any questions or you want to share your experience with flexible ads? Drop in the comments below. Yes, I could have gone into depth explaining how the algorithm works and the multiple benefits of this, but I just put it simply to you. Flexible ads is just basically going to help you test better and easier and test more. Um, that's basically it. Um, but yeah, questions, experiences, whatever, drop them in the comments below. Appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. And if you are a skincare brand who feels like you've hit a glass ceiling, maybe you're wasting $100 per day, thousands per day working with an agency who doesn't care about you, doesn't reply to you, charge you ridiculously high retainers, puts you in ridiculously long agreements that you can't get out with, and they're not even niche specific, then feel free to look in the description below. It says, have Ethan Baylor with my Facebook ads. Click that link and schedule a very quick 10 to 15 minute call with me. We work entirely with skincare brands only with the odd beauty cosmetic brands as well. Um, so yeah, if you are a skincare brand and you just basically want to ditch your current agency and just make more money with less stress and not have to constantly follow up for information or anything like that, look in the description below where it says, have Ethan Baylor with my face ads. Click the link there, share a quick 10 15 minute chat with me, and we'll assess if you're a good fit to work with us. That is everything. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.